Hello everyone and welcome back to Crown My Run. It's everyone's favourite brother today. It's D Mills taking on the 10 miles of Rye. Now it's a pretty hilly course with 900 feet of elevation change or about 300 metres. And with the Mills brothers not known for their prowess up the hills, this very much could be D Mills going up the hills. But you know he'll absolutely send it back down. So let's get to the race now. <laughs> And D Mills is off, starting maybe in about 50th position here. And I know it's not long until that first gruesome hill. So I'm sure he'll be trying to take it as easy as possible. But we know that's easier said than done once the racing juices start flowing. God, I wish I did a warm up now. <laughs> Oh, this kid does my absolute hits in. He wonders why he's injured half the year and he's never warmed up in his life. You see him at the start of a race, he just sort of dangles his feet left to right uh, very occasionally as his warm up. If you're lucky, you'll see a solitary opening of the gate or maybe a closing of the gate too. Do not be like D Mills, ladies and gentlemen. But if you did add warming up to the passion he's got, you'd probably have the finest runner in the world, so. We don't want that, do we? But back to the matter of hand and the race. And D Mills is now starting to go uphill. Two degrees at the moment of elevation change. 28 metres. It started at about 25 metres. You can view that in the top right of the screen. And the early signs are looking good up this hill. He's not been overtaken by half the field as of yet. He's actually coming up to a few people and potentially going to move past them. But it's very early doors. Go on, D Mills. Let him know. Oh, that's more like it. Go on, follow. Follow her through, D-Mills. Yes, there's one you've gone past. Go on, get me, take the other one. Follow her. You better not get away, D-Mills. Mm, I'm sure we'll meet again down the hill. 500 metres in and we've gone up about 15 metres now. But D-Mills is holding his own so far as it levels off ever so slightly here. I think he might see a little surge just to catch up to the two runners just ahead, maybe. Mm -hmm. Anything flat or slightly downhill, he will be taking advantage of it, I am sure, as he starts to trickle past some of these runners here. And it hasn't taken him long to get close to that girl who smoked past him up the hill. But there's plenty more hills to come, so this could be a lovely to and fro for the rest of the race. Still gradually going uphill, though. I think the gradient just eased off ever so slightly. But Dima's still going at a fair rate of knots here uphill for 10 per kilometre. But I can see up ahead that the gradient is going to increase once more. So far, we're looking pretty good. And something quite magical is happening here, ladies and gentlemen. We're just on a seven degree gradient and d Mills is overtaking people. I don't think I've ever seen this before. We're about to get to the top of a crest so he can just let his lungs breathe a little bit. And we are looking very strong here. I think there's been some secret leg days that he hasn't been putting in the group chat. What a little bugger. And he's still moving up on people as we approach one kilometre. And it's a very steep gradient here. It looks absolutely awful, to be honest with you. Yes, it's some beautiful picturesque country lanes, but, but brutal hills are not for me, to be honest. And as we go through the one kilometre in four minutes and 26 seconds and that was an elevation change of 32 meters that is very very good going he's positioning himself fantastically in this race to now attack downhill shortly and here we go lick that stamp and send it d mills another one bad dust oh that's a shame i was hoping for a three minute rendition of him just overtaking people but a hill has arrived and we're gonna have to move on to the next clip from the race now and we find him zooming downhill. Looking forward to coming back up this. Ah, and that is Damo realising that as an out and back course, he's going to have to come up this hill later. But he might as well get as much as he can out of it coming down as he comes through the two mile sign. And putting up his second and third kilometre splits here. The second one was a four minute, five seconds, three metres up overall, as average for that kilometre, up and down a bit, but three metres average. And then that third kilometre, a three minutes, 49, which on average was 32 metres down as D Mills grabs some water. It's good to see on a hot day him actually following what you're meant to do as I've been on like a 28k long run with this bloke and just like 16k in I'm like are you gonna have some of your gels or your water and he's like, oh I've just forgotten 
but he's remembered today. It's a fairly warm one, again, like it was at Seaford last week. Not quite as warm, but I think it will be getting towards about 20 degrees, at least by the end of the race, as we are now going up a 10-degree gradient hill. The heart rate is rising, 177, and we've still got 13 kilometres or so to go. I'm very interested to see how he does up here. I think he'll just be looking to maintain position, probably. And yes, it looks that way. Once your heart rate gets into the 180s, there's not so much attacking you can do. You've just got to wait for that downhill once more. And after maintaining position up that 30-metre incline, he now, on the little downhill, gets a position. And that's just unbelievable racecraft from D-Mills. Going back uphill now, can he keep that position for very long? And it looks like he can. In fact, he's even closing on the guy in the yellow top just ahead up this next hill. We have a boy feeling very racy on our hands, I think. Fourth kilometre, it's a four minutes, 43 seconds, 22 metres uphill there. And I'm sure he's delighted to know he's 25% of the race through. Only three quarters to go. And he's just sitting on yellow top here. The guy a bit further ahead getting well away. But D-Mills currently doesn't think he's got enough in him to surge past and attach onto the next one as of yet. But it does look like he's thinking about it, trying to get through. But they're sort of running side by side at the moment. They'd probably be better off just taking 500 metres each. Just running side by side at the moment and actually it does look like they're now catching the guy in the blue top a little bit further ahead both of them they are definitely both pushing each other along at the moment even if they're not doing it in the most efficient way possible that's more like it brother use him use him well they are both eating up the ground on blue top brings a little tear to my eyes come on lads see him off looks like a welcome downhill now and is d-mills going to assert his authority over both of these runners now yellow top trying to go through and they're almost three abreast here is d-mills going to finally get both of them no you can still see yellow top on the outside of him he's not giving up this position easily but with another three runners you can see in the distance that's probably a good thing these two are working together brilliantly and as he goes through five kilometres, a four minutes 33 there, average 21 metres up. Heart rate 175, which as some of you may know, is nowhere near Demo's top line. So we're looking still pretty good, and I'm hopeful he can start catching those three further ahead. But as we cut to seven and a half kilometres and we're coming downhill fast here, Demo's let him get away. You better go catch bananas in pyjamas right now, son. While he sorts his life out, we'll have a look at the 6th and 7th kilometre splits. And the 6th was a 4 minutes 24, average 12 metres up. And the 7th, a 3 minutes 54, 26 metres down. So he's managed to get into the threes coming downhill. And I think it's around another kilometre or so downhill. So he's going to have to get on the hills of Yellow Top soon. Or when he comes back uphill, I think you can all but forget winning this race against him. Oh no, I was wrong. And the centre started much sooner. He managed to scrape into the threes with a 3 minute 59 and that 8 kilometre, 27 metres downhill. But as we start going back up, the yellow top is quite far away. And is he now just going to fade into the distance, which would be very tough to see. 300 metres into this hill and it's not a shambles by any means, at least by mill standards. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> but he's working for it. When you spend such a long time with someone in a race and you can see them just ahead of you, you really, really want to beat them. And it's just a struggle now coming up this hill. He's working hard, 182 heart rate, and he's just longing for that next downhill section. It's not here yet, but he's just about keeping his own here. Five minutes, 20 per kilometre coughing and gasping ever so slightly but he's holding his own at the moment what do we have here what is this little sign <laughs> Demo is the cat whisperer and he was very disappointed not to see some actual cats. So there's some cats for you, lad. But it's time to catch the yellow top man now. Come on. Coming towards the end of this ninth kilometre and we're potentially losing a bit of time now. He needed some real cats to spur him on. We're now going to have to flick forward to about the 12th or 13th K, I believe. <sighs> 
and is actually at the end of the 13th kilometre into the 14th kilometre now where we find D-Mills once more up another hill going along in the mid sixes. I'm not sure where Yellow Top has got to. It's currently looking very lonely for D-Mills. He had actually just managed a four minute one second in that 13th kilometre but 37 metres downhill. I would be expecting him comfortably to be in the threes but he's obviously struggling big time. <laughs> Oh god. And he's just noticed a behemoth of a hill just ahead. It's actually the biggest hill of the whole course, 40 metres up this 14th kilometre. It's not getting any easier and we're at 187 heart rate. And 300 metres into the hill, we are moulding around in the 6 minute 40s. But I haven't seen anyone come through yet, but he's certainly not catching anyone up at the moment as he gets confirmation from his watch that he's indeed going very slowly. Past some lovely horses. And it looks like we're near the top of this hill now. I think we're coming down now. And what is this? Why is someone coming past D Mills down a hill? It doesn't look like he's going that quickly. D Mills, get your breath back. Get that heart rate down to the 170s. And I want him back ASAP, Rocky. No, this is a disgrace. This is an absolute disgrace. Okay, we're going uphill ever so slightly again. I'll let you slightly off. But once we can't start properly coming downhill. If you don't beat that runner, oh, I'll do something in in incredibly bad. And that 14th kilometre was a 5 minute 10, 40 metres up. It was a toughie. And as much as I've been giving D-Mills some shit, it does look like the guy in the red top a little bit further ahead is maybe coming towards him at this point. It's just this blue runner that's got out of hand. But I believe in D-Mills. We've got two kilometres to go and I think we can get him by the end. And yellow top, I'm not sure where he is but I also want him. 14 and a half kilometers. Pretty sure this is as high up as we're gonna get. There might be occasional slight ups as he's coming mostly down, coming up to that nine mile marker. Now, one mile to go. It's gently undulating, I think, for the next half a kilometer. And then the final one is all downhill where I'm hoping D Mills can release his inner dog. And I think I'm spotting Yellow Runner up ahead. He's at fair distance. That must be at least 20 seconds. But Team Mills, you give it to me, big boy. 15th kilometre done. It's a 4 minutes 10, 1 metre down. Overall, undulating a little bit. And now it's just downhill, 30 metres or so. Give it everything you've got, Team Mills. You can see he's absolutely tracking now. 3 minutes 30 per kilometre. How many can you get in this final kilometre? Comment down below how many you reckon he's going to get. I think he could go Super Saiyan. 800 meters to go and there's one blue top isn't far ahead and i think he's going to have him in absolutely no time and i can smell yellow top but he is still a fair chunk ahead three minutes 25 per kilometer 190 heart rate two things that just sing together he's in the three minute tens now Five hundred meters to go. He's definitely catching Yellow Top. He's at three minutes twenty, three minutes nineteen per kilometer now. I can see a couple more runners ahead. He's on two overtakes so far. Potentially he can get five. Potentially more if he goes to a dark, dark place. <sighs> Oh, it's hurting, but I know he loves putting a show on for Crown My Run, and there is Yellow Top! Thank <laughs> you. 
They are both absolutely flying down this hill. He's not catching him quickly by any means at this point. And he's going at 3 minutes 10 per kilometre, just over 200 metres to go. Come on, D Mills. I believe in you, big boy. He's just dropped an absolutely disgusting 3 minutes 21 per kilometre. These runners ahead are so close. There's not long to go, though. But the finishing kick is here, and he's seen him off. And there's two more runners to go. There's another yellow top up ahead. Can he get to him? Come on, D Mills. 2 minutes 40 per kilometre. This guy in the green top, no hope. Absolutely obliterates him. Go on, get the other lad. You can do it. Oh, he can't quite get him, but that is unbelievable finishing from D-Mills. Managing to see off four runners in that final kilometre. Where did that put him at the end of the race? 20th position with a 1 hour, 9 minute, 14 seconds. A really, really strong effort and such a great finish there from D-Mills, where he actually managed to do the final 100 metres in about 17 seconds, averaging 2 minutes 40 per kilometre. So thank you for watching, everyone, and well done to anyone who took part in the race themselves. Well done to Ollie Sprague for getting a nice W in a week after a tough race. Good to bounce back. Tune in next time where myself, J Mills, and D Mills, and W Mills are all taking on the Eastbourne Rovers One Mile Challenge. Our first ever race on a track. You don't want to miss it. See you soon.